Hey guys, welcome back. Today it is a very good weather out here. I decided to come out to process this VGA IC chips from three kilograms of uh, cell phones. I'm out here because I want to process this by wet ashing process. It has some acidic fumes that isn't actually possible to do that even uh, under film hoods. It caused some problems in machinery and all metallic parts there uh, including the fan so I decided to come out and process this here before starting I should mention that uh, wet ashing process is a very dangerous process which involves using a hot sulfuric acid actually sulfuric acid in cold condition easily dissolve uh, organic matter and turn them to the carbon so it's not a good idea to handle hot uh, sulfuric acid unless you have enough experience to handle such a chemical but do that on your own risk despite I recommend to not use this kind of process I just want to use it because uh, some folks told me that it is possible to get higher yield a bit comparing to the burning, incinerating and panning to get gold bond wires. So let's try. First I place PCBs in a beaker underneath a heating gun to detach parts and then sort all BGA chips to start processing. This was about 540 grams of cell phone boards from 3 kilograms of old cell phone. First I use a sieve to screen a small parts like MLCCs and separate them much easier from bigger parts like oscillators and BGA chips and afterwards I collected BGA chips by hand. Right here I have PGA chips from cell phone boards, 3 kilograms of uh, cell phones or 540 grams of boards, yielded about 45 grams of BGA IC chips. Okay, let's process this with wet ashing process. Let's go. <laughs> now it's much safer to process and handle this kind of dangerous materials. Let's start. Let's add just enough sulfuric acid to cover IC chips. Shake it to help sink at the bottom. And let's turn the gas stove on to start heating to help dissolving resin into the concentrated sulfuric acid. If 
you can see the very close films are coming off I have face shield while doing this but a few microliters of this hot concentrated sulfuric acid could blind a person so this is what it is actually very dangerous so stay away from this but I'm doing that for demonstration purpose to see what kind of result we would get I forgot to bring uh, myself some uh, nitric acid to pre-treating uh, IC chips before treating with sulfuric acid to dissolve solder because solder used in the ball grid array under the BGA chips contains high amount of silver and now probably this silver would get dissolved into the hot concentrated sulfuric acid and I have no idea how to recover uh, silver from this pasty and hot uh, liquid which is saturated with carbon. Maybe first wash of this uh, process with water after it's done could be uh, some chloride added to precipitate silver chloride. I'm not sure. Let's see what will happen. I added water to a beaker and then I started pouring black mix into the water. Note that it is not a good idea to add water to the concentrated acid. Alright, this is diluted sulfuric acid with a carbon mud inside of it. Since I've forgotten to use nitric acid prior to uh, process BGA chips with sulfuric acid, there might be some silver dissolved in this solution. So I transfer this dirty solution to the waste container to recover silver later if there is any silver dissolved BGA chips washed and this is residue which contains uh, copper and gold bond wires first let's dissolve copper with nitric acid Alright, nitric acid leaching process is done and all base metals been dissolved. 
uh, there might be also some silver in this badge so I'm going to filter this to clean gold foils and bond wires Look at these gold bond wires and some gold foils inside of some IC chips been gold plated. There is gold foils. It seems there is good amount of gold bond wires here. Amazing. The reason I've used vacuum filtration was that I just wanted to remove moisture as much as possible in this uh, stuff like uh, fibers here to, since I want uh, to dissolve all trace of metastonic acid which might be formed in this process using concentrated hydrochloric acid. Metastonic acid inside of this due to the reaction of solder with nitric acid that's why I want to boil this stuff uh, inside of hydrochloric acid to get rid of metastonic acid and then treat it with aquaregia the presence of nitrate in this pre-washing process will cause the gold get dissolved. In vacuum filtration a step I wash this with some solution of sulfamic acid to get rid of all trace of nitric acid since in this step I want to boil this stuff in uh, concentrated hydrochloric acid and I don't want to any gold dissolve in this step. In fact this is a trick that you can use to eliminate trace amount of nitrates when you want to wash with hydrochloric acid everything is being boiled in hydrochloric acid and I'm 99% sure that there isn't uh, any gold dissolved in this solution but it doesn't harm to give it a stannous test just in case there isn't any gold dissolved in this solution it seems there is only some iron pieces is reacting with hydrochloric acid which wasn't completely leached in nitric acid process hot plate turn off let place it here to settle down and stop boiling
As it is obvious, there is nothing much to be dissolved and no bubbles are coming up. So, let's filter this. filtration is done it's time to remove funnel and transfer solution to beaker To eliminate nitric acid, I add some sulfamic acid solution. Now to drop gold. Now I start adding SMB to drop gold. Let's give this enough time to settle down. Here something strange occurred to my gold, dropped gold. Uh, I was processing this board uh, to dissolve solder to extract any possible silver from soldering. The nitrogen dioxide fumes were coming out of this solution caused gold, drop gold in this solution which is already the NOx. Surprisingly only presence of nitrogen dioxide brown fumes into the, this environment here caused to gold redissolve. That was pretty strange. So it is a good information and experience to prevent gold losing. Do not leach metals with nitric acid in the same area when you are dropping gold. Otherwise you will lose gold. I washed gold powder from the BGAs. Beautiful gold, isn't it? I've added some drops of hydrochloric acid. This is a dilute hydrochloric acid and placed on the hot plate to be boiled off a bit and then I melt it to get a nice and beautiful gold bead.
processing 3 kilograms of cell phone or 540 grams of cell phone boards been done and here is the result from BGAIC chips and as you saw in previous part of this video this is from uh, all plating part all gold plated parts like pins and boards only 45 grams of BGA chips yielded about 0 0.31 but in total we got 0 0.46 grams of gold from only 540 grams of cell phone boards I can estimate that it's possible to get about 7 grams of gold from 1 kilogram of this type of VGA chips which been accumulated from uh, old cell phone boards. We conclude that it is important to have old cell phone boards when you want to hunt for uh, electronic waste when it comes to choosing between uh, cell phone boards this project is done hope you enjoyed until next project see you next time